Sort of, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, still don't feel like I'm a professional. Well, yeah. Is yours recording? Yep, now recording. Yep. Little red light tells yep. me it's recording. Yep, all right. So you may be wondering why I'm in a different location. I am at John's house in one of his garages. And the point for that is because at my suggestion, John decided he wanted to up his camera game a little bit. So I'm pointing over there for where the camera's at. Uh, but he decided to get a Canon R6, he tells me. So we are going to do an unboxing and check it out. And I'm gonna try and get him set up with his new R6. So hey, that's about the right size. I'm looking forward to seeing what it is that you have in here. So here we go. That's that's not an R6. No, that is not. That and is. That out, and it's really, really heavy. So as you guys may know, we did the painting with lights the other day and we used the Aperture lightings. I reached out to Aperture and I told him about Millage, about his photography skills and the need that he had for more of these. So Millage, you might not know this yet, but Aperture actually reached back out to me and they gave you this. Oh wow, that is, that is really, really cool because we were talking about 12, 20 of them making jokes or whatever. I really didn't think that they would send what I am holding in my in my hands. I've actually seen this a couple of times um, and it's one of the coolest pieces of technology for such a small case. Thank you, that is, that is really awesome. Thank you, Aperture, I really appreciate this. Yes, I was amazed when I reached out to Aperture and their team is freaking amazing. If you do any photography, even if you don't do photography, these little LEDs are beautiful for everything, just backlighting photos, or even with the cars, just having lights around them. You can use them for a number of different applications, but Aperture is the one that you want to go to. Uh, they are a phenomenal company and you definitely want to support them. So before I tear into this, um, you mentioned that these lights can be used for a lot of different things. One fun uh, video that I saw Peter McKinnon did, he showed what you can do with a lot of these lights and they're magnetic on the back. So he actually was using one to work on his truck and whether he did it on purpose or on accident, he actually left one of these on his Raptor and it was on there for four to six months or something like that. And when he pulled it out after, after he found it, cause he went up under there, he heard something rattling, found one of these up under there and after charging it still worked. Um, they are weatherproof up to an extent and he lives up in Canada and this was during the winter and all that. So, well, and I'm amazed with these. I mean, I, I didn't even know all of the bells and whistles of this. And I mean, obviously you're going to do the review on it, but I didn't realize that the case actually was a power supply. It's got USB ports, so you can use that for a power supply for other things. The whole package, I mean, they do a great job of integrating everything that you're gonna need for a travel kit. I mean, it's it's amazing. Yeah, and there's, a, there's some things like cold shoe ball heads and yeah, some th ways that you can set this up to not just be four lights sitting on a table like your deck of cards over there, you can go ahead and make this two prime lights, two backup lights. You can control these with their Sidious Link app. Huh. You can set all the different lights to either work at the exact same time. You can do that to uh, make them have their own colors and you can even match all these lights to your other light sources using their app. So I'm gotcha. really excited to break into this and do a little bit of unboxing with it. Well, you know what's my favorite thing about you having this? What's that? Is now I just call you instead of having to learn this stuff myself. That's true, I get so, to do all the work and then you say, hey, uh, can I see those five lights in action? I've really got this cool that's idea. That's right. So, all right, that's I'm gonna let you guys for. play. All right, so let's go ahead and tear into this and see what comes in this. Like, like we said, it's the MC4 light travel kit. It's roughly $500. But when you think about what all you get in with this, according to the packaging and from what my experience is, you've got four lights that are about $80 a pop. You get the wireless charging case, which is a, um, it looks like it's weatherproof, almost like a Pelican case. It says it's got two silicone diffusers, two cold shoe ball heads, a power supply cable, and then a type US or a type C USB charging cable. So here we go. All right. And it gets even better because it has this little awesome aperture carry case right here. And 
Something that I've noticed, noted in a couple other videos is companies are just getting better and better and better at what they give you to be able to carry things around. We're gonna go with the accessories bag. And in there is everything you could possibly need to make this go. It's got one of everybody's favorite style of power cords. This is looking like the plug that will actually plug into the case. And over here, we have, this is the silicone diffuser. These are great for diffusing the light. They make it to where it's not so harsh. There is one of the cold shoes. Is something that I've actually been looking at purchasing for my one that I already have. Um, comes with a quarter 20 screw in there. But this goes on top of the camera where some of us have our mics. So I will be able to plug this, put this on to the mic and then put the light up on top and put this on top of the camera, excuse me. And then I'll be able to have a dedicated light at all times. Something that I'm thinking about getting is a cage for my cam for my R so that I can put like this on the side, the mic on the top, but this is huge that it comes with two of these. One in there as well. And then there is the USB-C cord. So yep, that's everything that comes in the extra case. And now for the grand unveiling, here we go in the case, four brand new MC RGB lights. Now, something that I love about this is the fact that this is magnetic. So you see it's got two magnets, one on each side there, and they just magnetize in and you can do it however it needs to be to be fully secure. And then, yep, you plug the power cord in right there, and then it will charge all four of these lights at the same time. And then you can actually, I believe, it's similar to things like I've talked about in my DJI Mini 2 and those kind of battery packs, you're able to plug in to the USB-A and you're able to charge from this case. I am blown away that John reached out to Aperture and had and asked them to see what they could do to help me out as I grow my channel. And I'm really, really stoked that they sent us this four pack of lights. Using their Sidious Link on your smartphone, you are able to control individual lights, you are able to control groups of lights. You can set one light, for instance, to a 5600 Kel 5, Kelvin uh, light, then you can set another light to a blue, another light to a red, give you the nice contrasting colors to maybe highlight what we have going on behind me, things like that. You can set them all to the same color so that you can maybe do a nice bank. One of my favorite parts that I just learned about because um, as I've been trying to figure out how to use the one that I have by myself already, I didn't realize that you could do this. You can use the Sidious Link app and you can take a picture in it of another light that you're using and you can match all of these lights so that when you're white balancing, you're not sitting there going, well, why is, why is it kind of orange over here? You know, I, I had it set for this, but you can use that app to make sure that all your lighting is the same so that your white balance is crystal clear, perfect and beautiful. And it's just something that I'm really looking forward to being able to do, especially with the colors in the background, we're gonna be able to do some stuff, I think with John for some of his talking heads, really highlight the car colors that he's talking about. Thank you, John, and thank you, Aperture. If you don't already, go over to John's channel and like and subscribe. He does a lot of fun stuff with cars uh, and he's kind of starting to branch out a little bit more into some other things. And I will catch you in the next video. So it magnetizes in. It's a lot like your cell phone and a lot of the a lot of the cell phones these days, where it uh, charges through the case. Yeah, that you don't have to you, charging. Yeah, you don't have to plug it into the USB C. You just plug it in. But look at that. Boom, and it charges. But look. <coughs> yeah, got little oh. fans underneath. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. So, so I mean, it, it, their stuff is amazing. It's yeah. the most. It's the best quality stuff that you can buy. Oh, for sure. There's one thing we need to do together on camera, though. There are four little screen protectors that need to come off. And this is one of the most satisfying things with new cell phones or whatever. I get to play with those. You get to play with that and just 